What is going on guys? Mike with Chit Chat Gaming here. So this Tuesday, March the 9th, Apex Legends drops on Nintendo Switch. I've been waiting for it guys. I'm a huge Apex fan. Been playing it since day one. Um, you know, spent probably way, way, way too much money on the game as far as cosmetics and such go. You know, I have the Funko Pops, I have the action figures. Again though, just a big fan of Apex Legends. Ever since Titanfall, I'm just a big fan of Respawn in general here. So I'm ready for the game here. Only downfall, of course, being that, unfortunately, there's no cross-progression on the game. So, I, like I said, I have it on PC, I have it on Xbox. Most of my money is dumped into my Xbox version. But I also have a lot of money dumped into the PC version. So now we have to start all over fresh here with the Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to grab that Champions Edition. I'm going to grind the hell out of it. Because I'm very, very curious to see how this game looks on Nintendo Switch. But before we do that though, guys, we have to have a weapon of choice, right? We have to have that weapon. We have to have the RE45. We have to have that Prowler. We have to have that Spitfire. That R3, R301, R etc. But for us here, we have one thing. And it is the Power A. Apex Legends uh, wireless controller here. So this is the wireless pro controller by Power A. They released this thing here recently here, about a month ago or so. I had no idea about it. I wanted to go ahead and pick it up uh, and take a look at it here. Also, if you're very interested in taking a look at this as well too, check out my buddy MC Murr on his channel here on the MC Murr Show, because he actually recently went over this product as well here too. So again, I collect controllers as most of you know. I don't have really any other controllers other than the uh, for the Nintendo Switch anyways and the Pro Controller. So I'm definitely, definitely curious to see how this works. I never used one of these wireless controllers from Power A. So I'm definitely curious to see how it, you know, how it works here. But my main reason why I picked it up, of course, is look at that. I mean, that freaking awesome skin on there and everything here too. So that's the kind of crap, those cosmetic skins is what sells me and that's exactly why I spent so much money on Apex Legends obviously so again though guys let's go ahead and let's jump in here let's take a look at this here and let's unbox it and again don't forget this Tuesday March 9th not only do we get a new Apex Legends event but also Apex Legends officially drops on Nintendo Switch the game is free to play there is a Champions Edition for $39.99 I believe it is here that gives you, you know, all the legends gives you a bunch of cosmetics gives you some Apex coins etc etc so again though let me know what you guys think here. So again, let's go ahead and let's jump in and let's take a look at this badass controller. And then we're going to take a look at it in action as well too. Alright guys, here we go. We officially have the Xbox Power A wireless pro controller right here on hand. As you can see, it does include two AA batteries. So it is, of course, going to be battery charged here. Now apparently there's some, it's, sorry, it's the enhanced wireless controller. So apparently there's some buttons on the back or something here that's supposed to allow you to config or allow you to be able to um, program on the back here or some button mapping and such here so here's the back of the box the sides here had the controller right there then the other side here has the the design as well too with the apex legends logo on it so let's go ahead and let's open this up take a look at it. i did go ahead and i went ahead and cut the seals on it here just because you know how annoying that can be on camera and it takes forever to do so Got that in there here, we'll put that to the side. All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, see what we got in the box. We have some instructions in the box or some manual. Um, we do have, of course it fell out, but we do have some batteries as well here too. So some Duracell OEM batteries are in there in the box. So there's the box guys, and here is the actual controller itself. Very, very nice looking controller. As you can see, let's see if we can get a little bit closer here. There we go. Got that Apex Legends little logo on here. You have the design on the side. Very, very nice. It's like an orangish reddish color as well too. The buttons, feel, you know, they, they look like they're gonna be okay. The design is very similar to the Pro Controller. Of course, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. But of course, you know, I, in my personal opinion, you know, the buttons do feel kind of, I don't know. I'm going to say it, I hate to say it, but they do feel kind of cheap. The D-pad doesn't really feel like too bad, I guess I should say, but yeah. Here we go though, guys. We're going to check it out here. Here's the back. So like I said, you do have some button mapping on the back here as well too. So you have a couple little extra triggers that you can program as well too, which would be nice for this game because you could easily just like program one to like throw your, 
you know, throw your um, your grenades or your arc, or arc stars or whatnot here. So I think anyways, I'll check it out here eventually because I never used one of these here before. So we'll, we'll definitely check it out here and see. So again, on the top here, you do have your sync button. I think that's what that is. Yeah, your sync button as well here too. Of course, you have your, your traditional ZR, Z, uh, ZL, left and right. Then of course, on the front, you do have the home button, the capture button, and of course your plus and minus buttons here on top as well too, or your start and select, what I like to call them. So again though, definitely a great looking design. This controller is gonna run you $49.99. So it is a little bit cheaper than the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Uh, of course, you know, the Pro Controller, in my personal opinion, is probably one of my favorite controllers. Um, with this one here though, you are getting a couple of extra buttons for button mapping as well too. So. We're gonna go ahead though, and we are gonna try checking out a game. We're gonna check this thing out in action, just to see kind of how it runs here, just see see how it performs anyways, I guess you should say, and to see if it's something that I definitely would recommend to you guys. But again, $49.99, I got to pick this up on Amazon. Apex Legends, Power A, Enhanced Wireless Controller. Let's go ahead and let's jump into a game and let's check it out. All right guys, so we're back here right now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test out the Apex Legends Power Ray Enhanced Wireless Controller here. It's a mouthful. We're gonna check it out in, in action. I figured I'd I could play a um, like an FPS game, which I may still try here. But I want to go ahead and try something that involved. You know, definitely using the controls quite a bit and kind of being quick and so forth. So I figured, what better game than um, Splatoon 2 here, which is still one of my favorite Nintendo Switch games. Great game here. So it's battle time. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Again, though, I'm curious to see how this works with Apex. I didn't get a chance to config these buttons on the back here yet. I'll probably try that with like Rogue Company or something, or like Fortnite or something. Just kind of see how it works. But let's go ahead and let's jump and see how it works on Splatoon 2 here. So the main thing I'm looking at right now is just you know exactly how I got a freaking roller. My wife played this game last. And she gave me a stupid roller, so I absolutely hate the roller. Actually, my daughter played this last. Should say my wife has her own Switch. Do I hate playing with rollers? It's awful. Anyways, though, so far though, it's you know I've seen it perform pretty well. I mean, I'm not having any problems with like the buttons themselves. They feel pretty good, pretty comfortable. One thing I can kind of say right now, though, is that. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, so. Alright, so it's already programmed. So that's the one thing here is when you're playing right here. I mean, it's supposed to be easy to be able to click, you know, obviously, but if you're in the middle of like a different game, like, like, like I said, like, like Fortnite or Paladins or Rogue Company or Apex Legends for that matter. And you accidentally like press one of these on accident because it's just like it's literally right in the very back here. Then you're gonna end up doing something. So right now I just did my special. I did not mean to. I just accidentally clicked it with my my back of my hand here or back of my finger. Just accidentally clicked the button. See like right now it's doing it. I can feel it. It's not doing anything because I don't have anything programmed for that particular button. But I can definitely feel like right there. I just pressed it a couple times. Right now, because I'm not really playing. Like, let's see. Let's see if I click it here. Oh, I didn't do it that time. Let's go back over what they did here. But I mean, the controller is not bad. I just don't know if I can get used to the. Uh, I'm just not sure if I can get used to the. Uh, the extra button being on the back there. And accidentally pressing it. Okay, come on. I absolutely despise rollers, dude. <laughs> I know they do a lot of coverage and such, but I'm a gun guy myself. A splatter shot or, or whatnot. 
Alright, got him. But we got each other. But yeah, there we go, guys. It does work pretty well. My only, only complaint. It's not really a complaint. It's just, uh, it's going to take a while to get used to because I've never used one of these before. We won, of course. It is going to be the back here. Pressing these little extra buttons right there. When you're playing it with your hands like this, you accidentally seem to, you know, press the button on accident and it does something. So in that case, it did my special. But, yeah, I could definitely see that maybe being an issue. But other than that, though, very nice design, the controller. And I do, and definitely... I dig it, but again, though, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to. So again, this is available right now, $49.99 available. I got it on Amazon here. I'm sure it's available other places as well, too. But again, though, and, uh, you know, getting geared up for Apex Legends this Tuesday. Definitely a nice-looking controller, but again, though, it's going to take a little time to get used to. But it plays well. The buttons work well and everything here as well, too. So again, Power A, Apex Legends, Enhanced Wireless Controller available now, guys. So... Make sure you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on that bell notification to keep updated with all things that is Chit Chat Gaming. And once again, guys, this has been Mike saying, happy gaming.